Originally, when we started studying Pegasus in 2016, uh, a target would have to click on a link sent via SMS in order to facilitate the infection of the phone. If you didn't click on the link, the phone wouldn't get infected and wouldn't be able to be monitored. But around 2017 or 2018, NSO Group appears to have released a major update to the Pegasus system, which allows governments to hack into phones with a so-called zero-click technique. This means the target does not need to click on anything. They don't need to take any action. Their phone could be sitting on a table. Uh, one minute, it's fine. The next minute, it's hacked. And once it's hacked, the government can access everything on the phone. They can get messages. They can turn on the microphone and listen into conversations happening near the telephone. They can take pictures through the camera. They can take passwords, contacts, track GPS location. Basically anything you can do as the owner of the phone or you can see, uh, the operator of the spyware can do or see. A major hub for this technology is Israel. Uh, so the Israeli government has for many years encouraged the development of a local cyber industry, including companies like NSO Group, as well as other companies that sell similar tools like Candiru, which we published an investigation on last week. And this whole ecosystem of companies, it's not just like there's one bad Apple company that's selling to repressive governments who are then using it against journalists. It's a, a systemic problem with the whole industry. And I think there needs to be regulation and action from the Israeli Ministry of Defense and the Israeli government, as well as governments around the world. But most prominently in Israel, there needs to be action by the government to bring the entire industry under greater control.